Hi, I'm Phil Constantino, and this Travels with Phil, we go to the Mount Kearsarge Indian Museum and Medicine Woods in Warner, New Hampshire. This was a real find for me. I was not aware of it, or if I remembered it, I didn't know I knew it. And a very, very interesting site out in the, uh, well, not really much of a large community, so you have to really go looking for it to find it out there. Let's start in the museum and the video I took there. Travels with Phil continues again in the Mount Kearsarge Indian Museum. They have a really surprisingly wide variety of things here, primarily the result of one man's uh, collections, one uh, family's collections. But uh, so this one really appeals to me. I like the design of that. I'll try to get it a little bit bigger without shaking too much. Imagine the time and effort it took to create something like that. Birchwood boxes. And Bud Thompson, the guy that started this, he uh, had an encounter with the Pequot Sakim Silver Star, I believe was his name, when he was a young boy, and that's what got him interested in uh, American Indian things. And also then again outside, they have a wide collection of uh, native plants, what they were used for. So I was not really familiar, if I was familiar with this place, I didn't remember being familiar with it. So, Micmac, Maliseet, Huron, Huron. Moose hair. Beautiful designs there. This looks like uh, Chippewa Ojibwa, but could be wrong. Uh, southeast region. So they've got them set up by regions. Normally, when they're doing their regular presentations, uh, they say that it's important that you come through and that they tell you what's going on rather than just showing you and reading it off a card. Uh, I'm here by myself this morning. But, uh, when I see the corn of the Iroquois. Didn't know there were that many varieties of corn, did you? All right, coming into the southwest region. The lights should come on. Good Navajo design rugs here. Dene, and they're language for themselves and these are it's nice to display here shows uh, what it was they used to make the different colors sand drawings Hopi Wander through Kachinas over here. This face is almost three feet high. Very nicely done. Many more vases here. Bowls. Not base, but uh, picture, I guess, because that's woven. Basket, I guess, and basket would be the better word. Obviously, post contact, person with a loaded animal. These are not quite that yellow, it's just the lighting that's come up. Sayuriva. Nice gorge shakers. Beautiful turquoise. Drums. More baskets. Papoose. 
<laughs> Two set. That's good. Obviously, that's contemporary. Some more flutes. All right, Tommy Wildcat, what do you think? Picture that. All right, some more boots, shoes, ancient styles, teepees. Yes, folks, we were not all living in teepees. This would be a uh, depiction of a battle here. Soldiers died. And then some very nice uh, beadwork here. Beaded saddle cover. Says on loan from Hugh M. Jones III. That's a full length. That's uh, I would say stands about uh, almost from the very tip of the feathers, about seven feet tall. Nice artwork. Beaded covers. Moccasins over here. Shorts for children. More papoose carriers. All right. Pipes. Wands. More headgear, straight up, pulled back. Bear claws. Well, that's bear claws. Nice buckskin. Very nice design, buckskin. Pacific Northwest and Alaska section. There you go. Now that's a sled. Hooking and halibuts. Some scrimshaw. Some woven art. It's obviously, Pacific Northwest. So, travels with Phil continues. Really recommend this place, the Mount Kisarge Indian Museum and Nature Center. It's up in uh, Warner, New Hampshire. And let's go outside to the wood, uh, the Medicine Woods or the Medicine Woods Trail. And what they did was they took an old dump and decided they would put some plants out here that would show you what they were called, give you an idea of what their technical name may be, also the common name, and what they might be used for in some cases. And uh, this is something just to fit in with the kinds of plants and things that you might see being used by American Indians throughout the uh, continent, or at least the ones, in, since this is outdoor and living, the ones that would grow up here in uh, New Hampshire. So I'll just let this wander through without much commentary.
burning out a canoe there demonstration. And this was just really a very pretty setting. Imagine it gets a bit cold in the winter time, but still lovely this time of year. And then I had an encounter with a bee. So let's finish this up with a video I shot of the bee. Travels with Phil continues at the Mount Kearsage Indian Museum and Wilderness Area. Uh, this is just outside of Warner, uh, New Hampshire. Look at the pollen on the legs of this bee. It's orange spots there. This is staghorn sumac. Look at how much is built up there. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the button below. You're welcome to leave comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And finally, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button over on the bottom right hand corner. Thank you again for watching.